Hey everybody, I am back with another celebrity. We are going to take a look at Naya. Uh, we want to see the energies that were surrounding her before the incident. Um, my prayers are definitely with uh, the family at this time. And there's so much sadness here. So much sadness, so much... Um, just so much doubt, just just giving up, heavy burden, so heavy, yeah, so heavy, very, very heavy. And before the incident, I did pull an oracle just to see, and I got to listen to your intuition. Makes a lot of sense to me, because... It feels like she needed answers. It feels like she needed to know something. It feels like she needed understanding. She needed she needed to listen. She needed to be hermit. She needed to go in and hear. I don't think she was able to do that. It just seemed like she couldn't connect to her own voice. She couldn't connect to herself. She couldn't hear. That's what it sounds like. So let me see what that oracle means. Listening to your own intuition. Yeah, so many signs. So many messages was coming in to her before the incident. And she couldn't hear. She couldn't hear. Loud and clear. Signs and wonders. Loud and clear answers, encouragement. She walked away from what she... She walked away from the signal. She wasn't able to hear her intuition. And she walked away from the signal. Strong messages was coming to her. Strong messages. There's always a way of escape... There's always an exit door on the side. Many times we just don't go through it. There was a way of escape. There was an outlet. There was messages coming in. Energy supported her in this moment. But she chose not to listen. Let's see if we can find out what the messages were. What was the messages? What was the messages? Hmm. Yes. Okay. The messages was basically, you're not hearing clearly. Don't listen to that voice. Don't listen to that thought. Choose another direction. Look another way. There are other places you can go. There's more things to come. Don't listen to that voice. Don't listen to the deceiving lies. Don't listen to what... Don't listen to your mind. That's amazing. How Oracle tells us to listen to your intuition... But the messages was telling her not to listen to your mind. Deceiving spirits, lies. There's something else more to come. There's something ahead. She walked away from the intuition. She walked away from the messages that was coming from her. From her to her she walked away from those things listen to the mind and not the spirit the spirit was silent it just feels very very quiet very heavy let's see what was to come 
What's what's to come? What's to come? Don't listen to your mind. Don't listen to the confusion. Don't listen to the lies. There's something else to come. What's over the horizon? What's next? What else can be? What else can you choose? What what else is coming in? I don't know. It almost feels like, hold on, don't listen to your mind. Don't listen to the lies because we're going to disconnect you from these pieces. We're going to disconnect you from the things that's going on inside of your heart. Or we're going to disconnect you from your marriage. We're going to disconnect you from a Taurus. We're going to disconnect you from the things that you were joined into for a very long time. Yeah. Spiritual messages. Listen to your intuition. There was loud spiritual messages trying to speak to her to tell her not to listen to the mind. There are some deceiving spirits. There are some things trying to steal away from your mind. There is something else outside of the situation. There's something coming that will disconnect you from this behavior or thoughts that you've been joined to, joined with for a very long time. Let's see what the thoughts were. Always, as always, she definitely could have had trouble with other air signs. Definitely could have had trouble with a Taurus. Wow. What was the thoughts? Thoughts. That was the thoughts. Spirit was trying to get her to hear that the things that she was thinking was unclear. There was no clarity in it. There was no clarity in her thoughts. That's powerful. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of work to transition through all of that. When you have to rely on your soul and your spirit to help you break through the confusion in your mind about your own thoughts. These thoughts were hers. What was the lies? What was this deceiving thoughts that was going on? What was the lies? What was the deceiving thoughts? What was those things that was deceiving her? Oh yeah, I had to get you. She believed that she couldn't have love. That she wasn't being loved. That she never received love. That she couldn't find love. That she didn't have love. And even thoughts of not loving her own self. But even on top of those things... There were still energies here to help her with that. If she would have listened or been able to hear that, there was more to come. There was more to come. There's more to come. There's a way out. There's something else better for you or something more for you. And that something is... You got help. Spirit wants to help you disconnect from those things that you have been joined with for a very long time. Why does this feel religious or religion? Why does this feel like a religion? Like, um, it almost feels like religion. 
It almost feels like she was taught a certain way to think. That's what it feels like. And the confusion of those thoughts, which is her thoughts, The mind has confusion in it, and that confusion is her own thoughts about herself. The lies she tells herself that she will not find love, she she doesn't have love, and there's no love in her. She walked away from those messages. Why? I don't feel like she walked away from that. I really feel like she couldn't hear. I feel like she couldn't hear this. This. I don't feel like she can hear. Hear that still small voice. Hear the spirit inside of her. She couldn't hear. She walked away from the messages. She was more passionate about Wanting to be free. It almost feels like. I don't even want to try to fix this anymore. I don't want to try to fix it. I don't want to try to process. I don't want to try to understand. I don't want to try to heal this part. I don't want to try to untangle all the knots. I don't want to try to do that. I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm just going to move away from it. I'm more passionate about getting away from it than actually dealing with it. Yeah. That was something. Because that takes a lot to unravel when it's in the mind like that. You got a strong impulse here too. Like, no, I I just want to go. I don't I don't care. Um I'm not trying to fix it. I don't wanna I don't wanna accept, I don't wanna deal with that. I just wanna go. Okay. What was going on before the incident? She was releasing herself from something. This impulse, like, I gotta go. It almost feels like running slowly. Like running in slow motion. Releasing something. Letting go of something. Sad about something. Affected by something. She could have been affected by um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Releasing them. Letting it go. Accepting things. Giving up power to a certain situation. Heavy burden. Burdens on top of burdens. Head down. Running. Flowy white clothes. Feels like running away in your nightgown. Like I quit. Okay. I'm gone. I'm done. Something. Made her just want to give up caring, give up passion, give up power, head down, surrendering to a certain situation, and making a choice. Her spirit just let go. You know, it takes, it takes energy, it takes effort, it takes power, it takes your will to live, live, flow, move, to be a part of life. It takes a certain portion of your energy. And this just feels like everything that's happening, I let it go. You can almost feel it trickle down. I'm releasing everything. When I used to hold it up so strong, or when I used to bear it, or when I used to 
care a little bit, had a little power, fought against the pain, fought against the burdens. Today, I just just let it all go. Let's see what decision she was crossed by. It feels like she had to make a decision once she released all of these things to take charge of herself to be king to pretty much have authority over what the next move would be so it's I know it's over the yeah I know it's all over the place but it's a lot of air energy here a lot It's a lot. Hmm. She had to find a way. She spiritually spiritually release. Release power. Release emotions. Accept the burden. And then she had to make the final decision. Once and for all, to take leadership. And she followed the messages for victory. That don't make me feel good. What messages? What are the messages? What are the messages? She had this boat before. Yeah, the moon, of course. She fell into the thoughts. She chose the mind. And the more she chose the mind, the value went up and the spirit went down. Wasn't able to hear that oracle Listen to your intuition. Wasn't able to hear that. Wasn't able to hear the high priestess. She wasn't able to hear that high priestess. She wasn't able to listen to the intuition because of the mind. Because of the confusion and lack of clarity in the mind. So by her stand in that mode... The volume got louder. The spirit got quieter. Listening to the lies. The lies that she does not have. The Ace of Cups. The spirit wanted her to know. That it was something else coming in. To help you disconnect. Or divorce. Or separate. From. What you were used to. And the mindset that you were used to. Yeah. But she walked away. From that healing. From that promise. I say it's a promise. She walked away. With this temperance in reverse, she couldn't wait for the new day. We're going to look at that deeper, too. I want to know what that was. There's a promise here. There, there is like another, another way. It was almost like help is coming, but not that soon. But help is coming. And it's coming to help disconnect you from everything you used to be joined with. It's coming for that. It's coming to help you with this mindset that you've been connected to for so long and these things in your head that is not giving you truth. But she walked away from that, couldn't wait, couldn't, didn't have the passion to wait, didn't have the tolerance to wait. That's how that feels. She got tired. 
she makes me feel like, hey, if, you, if you're going to save me, do it. If you're going to tell me something, say it loud. I need for you to change the rules or make it quicker. Other than that, I don't have patience to stay in this mindset. I don't have patience for this. Do it now. Saying, for instance, you may have another person who goes through the details of healing, goes through the step-by-step process, and this process for her is like, hold on, wait. There's more. And that more and that energy and that power that's coming to you it's going to help you disconnect from these things that you used to be joined in. And it almost feels like this. She's pretty much was like, now, do it now. And now was not fast enough. Let's take a look at that. There was another way. There was something else available to help disconnect her from the things that she been joined with. What was that? What kind of help was that? What kind of help was that? What kind of help was coming? What was coming? What else was available? Hmm. Okay, I kind of hate that I even went more because I just got a repeated pattern right then. That kind of bothered me. Yeah, there was an opportunity of help coming to disconnect her from the things that was troubling her, the lies, the struggles, the confusion, uh, the lack of clarity and feeling unloved or not receiving love. Not obtaining the the pureness of love. But at the same time, I got no action. It almost feels like it wouldn't have been accepted. I got no action. Yeah, it was going to cut away something and renew a part of her. But it looks like it looks like it was no action on it. It would have been no action. Or maybe she still would have been fearful to take take away those. Yeah. Okay. I think you got what I'm saying on that one. <sighs> Fear takes our life away. Fear numbs us. Fear steals from us. We're so afraid to live a better life sometimes because it's a different life. It's different. Like, why would I want to do something different? And then I'm not going to even know what that is. I'm not going. There's a better way. I'm going to cut this off. And then I'm going to seal you up, stitch you up, staple you up. And then I'm going to push you that way. More peace this way. It's another way to live that's better than before. And you won't have those thoughts that you used to then who would she be without those thoughts? Sometimes you be in situations for so long, it's like, I don't even know who I would be without my thing. If you take my story away, if you take away these thoughts, I don't even know who I would be. I'm not going over there. Yeah. So before the incident, it was about releasing. She had just let go. I'm not going to be 
conflict no more. I'm not trying to fight against the thoughts. I'm not trying to fight against the feelings. I'm not trying to fight against this water sign or fire sign. I'm not trying to have power in this situation anymore. It is what it is. I surrender to it. I surrender to it. Now a decision needs to be made. How will you control things now? How will you take the control of the situation? And there are some messages that comes through. And these messages feel so faulty. These messages are not clear, which takes us back to the original energies around her. Listen to your intuition. Spirit is trying to give you a message, but you are unclear. I surrender to everything that is happening. I can't do it anymore. I'm not putting my power, strength, and emotions in anymore. I release myself from all these things I was trying to bear and hold on to. Decision needs to be made. How will you lead this? And it's almost like the mind, the volume turns up. She listens in with these messages, with this page of wands, and it comes through. But it sounds muffled to me. But it comes in the energy of the moon. And she takes that as victory with the six of wands. Let's see if we can find out what energies that was with the moon. <laughs> so amazing that I never, I never heard the moon speak. <laughs> I know that sounds so silly, but I just felt like that was a question in that. It feels like a statement, but it also feels like a question. It feels like I need to say that. I never heard the moon speak. It feels like I need to say that right now. I never heard the moon speak. How do you look for... You look for messages. You look for words. You look for a voice. And then... You look at the moon. Can you hear the moon? <laughs> you know... Sometimes I'm dumb and smart at the same time because I actually just saw a mirror. The messages was desired some kind of way. The messages was just a reflection of what was already in her. How does the moon speak? And it's counted as a victory. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. It was counted as a victory. Yeah. Why? Of course, it's counted as a victory. The victory is the Ace of Swords in reverse. Makes sense? But of course, it doesn't make sense. But it do make sense. If you're looking at your own reflection... Spirit-wise, everything just spirit. I'm just making a whole bunch of examples. I, I know it sounds crazy. But if you're listening to your reflection, 
and you looking at yourself in the mirror and you are looking at the moon and what do you hear? You hear your own voice. And if the mind is up louder than the spirit, remember she's being encouraged to listen to her intuition. She's being encouraged to listen to her spirit. Listen to us. And she's listening. But it comes in in the energy of the moon. Which is almost like you was listening to yourself. And when you heard it, heard it. Self, self. Your voice, your voice. Your eyes, your eyes. When you saw yourself and heard yourself with the same message, of course, it's a victory. The victory is my confusion spoke back to me. Mental illness, mental destruction, mental pain, traumas. This stuff is real. And I'm telling you, I got almost every last air card on this table. See, I want to go forward or not. I pulled some messages for love. Just to see what was going on in love before the incident. Let's see. here. I got a cancer here. I got a holding on to past love. I don't have new love. I got her still healing and holding on to past love. Love feels like I just saw a, um, um, forget what they call it. Cylinder, glass bowl with a potion just coming out of it. That's love. It was like love was in her hands. It's not in a person. It feel like it was in her hands. When it comes to her love journey, there is love here, but it's it's love that she always wanted. It's not like in love with her ex. I don't have her here. Desiring a person. I don't have a desiring an ex. At least that's not what it feels like. It doesn't feel like she's desiring a person. If I was able to explain it, it feels like I'm still holding on strong to a love that I always wanted. That's how it feels. But like I said before, I do have a cancer here. I do have a Leo here. And I do have her still needing to heal from love and holding on to the thought of receiving the love she always wanted. I have her single and desiring love. I even pulled an oracle for the love. And it kind of freaked me out. Because this situation will improve. Because you're releasing. And not only that, if you look at this oracle card that I have, it's like a mermaid. 
and there's dolphins around it. And that's a light above our head. And that's that. I don't even think it's nothing else I want to know. Only thing I can feel, she deserves all the peace. All the peace in the world. She deserves it. I had pulled some cards earlier to see if there was any conflict or any other people. I didn't have any. I kind of had her isolated a little bit. Didn't feel like she was around a lot of people. Or maybe she didn't feel connected to a lot of people. But I don't have any conflict. That's one thing I wanted to see. But I'm going to check it one more time. I don't have anybody. I don't see conflict in that kind of way. I see, I feel more of a worry. Like, people are more concerned and about her. I don't have any anger. And she has did her share, too, to others. But I don't have, like, vengeful type feelings. No, I don't. I don't think that she had any conflict with anybody like that. Not at all. All right, so this is what it is. This is what it is. <laughs> One more thing. For those of you who read the Bible, love the Bible, believe in the Bible, or just read the Bible for research, there's a story about Jonah that crosses me. It crossed me a few times. Um, there was issues. He had issues. He aboard a ship with, with um, a, wasn't, spirit wasn't clear. He had rejection on him and he had strife on him and he had disobedience on him. He, yeah, he had that on him. And um, in the story, it talks about that because of what was going on inside of him, Certain things was happening to everybody else. People were being affected by what was going on in him. So much so that I haven't read it in so long. So long, y'all. But I'm going to read it after this. That I, I think they... They put him off the ship. They threw him off. Because he was affecting everything else. For everybody. Even the weather, I think. I think he, when he was on the ship, it even brought storms. From what I can't remember. But, um, I don't know why. It just caught my attention. It just caught my attention for some reason. But that happens a lot. All right. This part is complete for me. I will not be doing any more messages on her. Um, so this will be it. Okay. All right. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.